Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to another video. And if I sound like I don't have as much energy as I usually do, yes, it is because I just woke up. You are right. You guessed it. I'm tired. <laughs> but we have to cover this latest news because holy cow, this guy Elon Musk never ceases to amaze me. So I wake up to this news with my phone having all these notifications saying that Elon Musk bought Twitter. Huh? He did what? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get right into this because, you know, I am a Tesla investor. I know many of you guys are Tesla investors. So I just wanted to break a few things down regarding this sale, because I must admit it is a very odd thing for him to do. I don't know why he would do it, but let's let's get into some things of why he would do it. Right. So in its regulatory filing, Twitter said that Elon Musk purchased around seventy three point four million common shares in the social media platform. Oh, oh. Oh, that's a lot of money. But you got to remember, Tesla only has a market cap of like $30 billion, something like that. And uh, Elon Musk is freaking has a net worth of like $274 billion. So, uh, yes, if he wanted to, he could buy Twitter, literally, which it's possible that this could be leading up to that. And that's what some analysts are saying as well. But the stake that he bought equates to a 9.2% stake in the company. So you have that. Uh, this stake actually makes Elon Musk the company's largest shareholder, even more than the co-founder, Jack Dorsey, who holds a 2.25% stake, which I didn't know. I didn't realize Jack Dorsey's stake was so low. That's lower than uh, some institutions. Uh, for example, the next biggest investor in the company behind Elon Musk is the investment management firm that we all know, the Vanguard Group. They own a 8.39% stake in the company. Now, the company Twitter set ambitious goals for growth, including increasing annual revenue to $7.5 billion and getting to 315 uh, million daily users by the end of 2023. So the company has been growing OK. It has, definitely hasn't been doing bad, but the stock price has not been doing very well. As a matter of fact, while we're on the subject of the stock price, the stock price as of right now is up 26% in pre-market. And you can almost guess that when the market opens, it's probably going to go up even more because the Robin Hood, the Robin Hood people are going to get in the ones that still even have the app and have any money. But let's get to another thing. Uh, let's talk about why I think he did this. So for those who don't know, Elon Musk made a tweet last month in March and he was kind of blasting Twitter because he feels that they do not uh, support free speech on the platform. So he said he said uh, free speech is essential to a functioning democracy. Do you believe Twitter rigorous, rigorously adheres to this principle? And I guess this was like a question he asked on Twitter. Right. Then he quoted that same tweet and he said, give that Twitter serves as a de facto public town square, which I agree. He's right about that. Failing to adhere to free speech principles fundamentally undermines democracy. What should be done? Then he commented under his own tweet and said, is a new platform needed? Now, this led to different questions like, will he create a new platform? You had all these talks and all these rumors about who would possibly get involved and how he would do it and different things like that. And I actually think he made a wiser move here. He said, hmm, or maybe somebody advised him, but. I guess instead of making his own platform, which would be a terrible idea, you saw what happened with Trump's platform. It's not as easy as you think. Um, he decided to just buy a stake in Twitter, which actually makes more sense, uh, in my opinion. Uh, don't get me wrong. As a Tesla investor, I do not support this. I'd rather him put all his focus on Tesla. But I, I, I mean, I guess him buying Twitter is better than him making his own social media platform because that would just be a entirely new headache within itself. So. In terms of why he did, if you want my honest opinion, I think this could lead to him having greater decisions in the future of Twitter or maybe him getting some type of board member seat, you know, or maybe this could lead to him possibly even buying Twitter outright, you know, different things like that. So that's what I think is going on in this whole thing. To be completely honest with you guys, we won't know until more information comes out. I mean, all we know for now is that he bought a 9% stake in the company. And we only noticed because of an SEC filing. There's no announcement. There's no press release. We just saw an SEC filing that said Elon Musk bought this much of Tesla, of, uh, I'm sorry, of Twitter stock. That's really all we know. So it'll be interesting to see what happens going forward in the future. And believe me, I will be keeping my eye out. And as soon as I find out, I will let you know. So there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.